the California Community College's OpenCCC student account and CCC Apply application systems have been changed to offer students a chance to verify their identity when they log into their existing student account or create a new California Community College's student account. Any student 18 years old or older who has not verified their identity will be prompted to do so when they sign into their CCC student account. Minor students under 18 years of age are not prompted to verify their identity and are taken immediately to their online college application after signing in. The IDME integration screens encourage students to protect themselves against fraud and streamline their application process by clicking verify now. However, students do have the option to verify later instead. Students who choose to verify later go immediately to their online college application. Once a student clicks Verify Now, they're transferred to the IDME website, which will step them through the identity prof proofing process required by the California Community Colleges. It's really important to note that in order to complete their identity verification for the California Community College system, students must always sign in to their CCC account first and then go to this IDME sign-in screen by clicking Verify Now within their student account. It can't be accessed, for example, if the student logs into that to IDME's generic website, only through the process of signing into their account first. Once students are transferred from their OpenCCC student account to IDME, they are able to create a new IDME account or sign into their existing IDME account to complete their ID proofing process for the California Community Colleges. Since almost 9 million Californians already have created an IDME account in order to get a California Real ID, through the California DMV, the hope is that many of our students may already have an existing IDME account. For the purposes of this demo, I've already created a test account with IDME, but have not gone through the ID proofing process. I'll go through that process now so that you can familiarize yourself with these steps. Please note that I'm demonstrating in IDME's testing sandbox environment, not the live production environment, so there will be some minor differences in the process that I'll explain as we go. After a student creates their IDME account, they can choose how they want to verify their identity through a self-service option or by waiting for a video chat agent to communicate with them. Our demonstration will use the self-service option, which is generally the fastest way for students to verify their identity. However, please note that this option only works for students who have a valid social security number or individual taxpayer identification number. Students without these identifiers must use the video chat agent option to verify their identity. First step in any system like this is to get consent for data sharing. Okay, next step is um, students will be prompted to upload photos of documents that prove their identity. This can be done via a link sent to their verified mobile phone if they have one. But students who don't have a smartphone can upload their documents in IDME by clicking the I don't have a smartphone link at the bottom of the page. I already set up a sample license to do this process. Another step in the process will ask the student to take a selfie using either their smartphone or the web camera on another device such as a laptop. Again, as this is a demo, I'm just going to take a picture of a picture of a painting for the purposes of demonstration. Lastly, the student is asked to uh, enter their phone number to confirm their identity, as well as enter their social security number.
And then there's a review to make sure that all of the personal information is correct. Verification of that. And final submission. Okay, one last step. And then the recommendation to return to the original tab. In this case, again, this is a test environment. Uh, there's been an immediate uh, verification of my uploaded documents. And assuming that the document and the selfie images uploaded by the student are clear and that they satisfy the identity proofing requirements, once the verification is complete, the, the student can allow the data sharing with the California Community Colleges of these data elements and will then be returned to the California Community Colleges online application system. IDME will send the open CCC student account system a verified status for the student who's been verified. And this verified status is stored on the student's California Community College's student account and displayed on their student account page. There's the edit account page and at the bottom of the page, you can see this student has been verified with IDME. And it's important for you to see this because this record will be on the student's account. And if there's any question of the student's identity verification status, uh, you can have them log in and show you. And this information is always there. Now, how long does the verification status last? Um, we touched on this. It will last for a period of one year or until the student changes any of their data uh, on, their, on their OpenCCC account. If they change their name, any part of their name, first, middle, or last, their address, their date of birth, on their community college student account, um, that will turn their status from verified to unverified. Um, they'll be prompted again to, to verify their identity. And should that happen, there will be a verify now button here on their account, as well as the integration screen I showed earlier. Um, Re-verification may be as easy as logging into their IDME account and approving the sharing of their data with the California community colleges or it may require the upload of new documents that reflect the changes to the student's identity. Thank you for your attention during this demonstration. As we mentioned before, throughout the new identity verification process, students will have access to help from the 24 seven student help desk at the California Community Colleges Technology Center, as well as the IDME Help Center, which the IDME team will discuss 